Listen to this. Verbal abuse may be overt, such as an angry outburst directed at the partner or an attack along the lines of, you're too sensitive. Covert abuse is subversive because of its indirect quality. Let's drop down. Still talking about covert. When this kind of abuse occurs, covert abuse, the partner has nothing specific to deal with. She must trust her own experience and, as painful as it is, come to terms with the knowledge that the abuser is not loving, valuing, and respecting her. Drab down. These are feelings that you may feel. Lost, not knowing where to turn, searching aimlessly, being caught off guard, so on and so forth. But this one right here, y'all, this one blew my mind. This one, this was a good punch to me. Feelings, however, are essential to our being because they are the criteria by which we determine if something is wrong or unsafe. Y'all, when I read this, listen, it blew my mind when I read this. Okay, let me explain. Have anybody ever told you you're overdramatic, you're overreacting, it ain't that serious, you're doing too much? Do not tell your child, your sister, your niece, whoever, don't tell them stuff like that because your feelings, that little gut feeling like mm, something is off, that's essential. That's the criteria by which you determine if something is wrong or unsafe. Y'all just blew my mind. I always tell my children, listen, trust that gut feeling. Don't ever doubt that good feeling. Trust that good feeling. I don't care where you are, who you're with. It's better to be extra cautious than to not be cautious enough. Trust that good feeling. 